Well, I'm continuing an experiment I started three days ago, and for whatever it's worth, um, I was just curious, so I'm uh, going to test these things. Um, I have been uh, soaking the hydrogen stick in, uh, I, I put it in, in a, a glass bottle that was closed, um, pretty good seal on it, uh, about three days ago, and um, I hopefully you can see the results. When I originally put it in three days ago on the first or the 20th of January, um, the pH was 10.1 and the ORP was a positive 145. And uh, a positive 145 is is uh, just what our St. Louis tap water is and the 10.1. I, I just poured it and tested it. Now positive 145 is not a good o ORP. It's uh, what it does to your cells is um, it's kind of like cutting an apple open and leaving it on the counter to oxidize and it will get brown and uh, start rotting. And that is what happens to your cells when they're soaked in a water that is a positive 145 ORP. Um, so uh, that's not a good result, but 10.1 is not too bad for pH and uh, St. Louis uh, treats their water to be at that pH, so that's that's not too bad. Um, after one day of soaking on the 21st of January, um, the pH rose a little bit. It went up to one or 10.25, and the ORP dropped to a negative 77. Uh, but that is after one full day of soaking. Uh, what I found uh, the first day of using the or the first day of of testing the hydrogen stick, I didn't find significant changes in the uh, pH or ORP the first day, but after a full day of soaking it did change the water. And um, so now it is three days of soaking, or approximately, a little bit less, this is 9 a.m. in the morning, and um, the let's, I'm just curious as to what is the pH now and ORP has it has it changed or is it uh, uh, you know I, I just don't know so I'm curious and I'm going to test it and um, so I'll get my stuff ready here the the glass bottle here is has too small of a, a spout for me to put my tester in. So I'm going to have to test the water in this cup. And let's see. Start with the pH. The pH is now, let's see if you can read that. Um, looks like 10.3 so it has raised a little bit and that would be expected it was going in that direction so I would expect it to raise and let's see what the ORP is and it looks like the ORP has dropped so the hydrogen stick is adding hydrogen to the water as Dr. Hayashi says. And um, after soaking the water for three full days with the hydrogen stick in it, you can get a, a negative 141 ORP. That's um, good for your cells to have a negative 141 RP. Um, so that's a, that's a good result on the uh, ORP. The only problem is, is that this hydrogen stick cost seventy dollars and uh, I that's just not good enough of an ORP I like a, a, a lower ORP than that I like it in the t negative two hundreds first of all that's not good enough of an ORP but second of all it took three days to get that 
and I am not going to buy 25 hydrogen sticks. That would call, cost me $2,500. And that's how many hydrogen sticks I'd need to provide enough water for me <laughs> for, you know, to, have, to always have water that is properly, um, you know, that's ready to drink uh, for the health of your cells. So that, that's, you know, it's just too costly. Plus, um, I might not need 25 hydrogen sticks. Um, realistically, though, I'd probably need 10 of them, and that would cost me $700. But the thing about a hydrogen stick is they only last six months. So every six months, I personally, you know, to provide enough water for me and my family, I'd have to buy uh, $700 worth of hydrogen sticks every, every six months. Uh, so that's just not in my budget. I'm sorry. It might be in somebody else's budget. Now, um, you know, if you were going to be going on a long trip and not near, not near an ionizer, no way to have an ionizer, yeah, the, definitely the hydrogen stick would do something. It'd be better than nothing, of course. And, um, you know, I, but, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, when you, you just cannot compare it to the um, ionizer. So um, let me try to write down those results. <laughs> I, what? Um, well, I'll write the results down later. I can't remember what the numbers were. But um, that was a good uh, drop in ORP and raise in pH just you know took three days to do it that's my that's my big and only comment about that now this is the water that was poured three days ago from the melody ionizer now the point of an ionizer is not to pour it in a bottle and drink it three days later and i would not suggest this for anybody i mean why would you do that that's really silly you have the ionizer Pour it fresh, drink it fresh. That's how to. That's how you should do that. Um, but nevertheless, this is just to have a comparison. Um, originally, <clears throat> this water tested at a pH of 11 when I poured it fresh out of the ionizer, and um, or fresh out of the tap. It goes through the ionizer, um, and it was an ORP of negative. 245. And now, I mean, uh, two days ago, which was one day later after I had poured it, it dropped in pH to a 10.61, and the ORP uh, went to a negative 225. So there was a little bit of a raise of ORP and drop of pH. And uh, I predicted that because hydrogen is the lightest gas in the universe that we know of and um, so it's going to evaporate and escape somehow and so it it will the your pH will drop and your ORP will raise when the hydrogen is released from the water so let's take a look at three days after pouring this what let's start with the pH what the pH now is originally was 11 and dropped to a 10.61 and huh well I you know maybe I've got my numbers wrong but it's at a 10.78 that doesn't make sense to me um, it, so <laughs> so uh, not my <laughs> no drop from two days ago in the uh, pH, so it looks like about approximately the same pH, uh, unless I recorded that, recorded my numbers wrong, and I can go back and double check that, look at the video again. But um, let's take a look at what the ORP is, because that's what I really predict is going to change. The ORP is based on how much hydrogen is in your water, basically, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to predict that that's going to be the biggest change. It was a negative 225, um, you know, after a full day of soaking, it had, it had raised. So I'm going to predict it's going to further raise. And let's see what we've got here. 
Oh, that's a that's a big raise in ORP. It's still in the negative range, though, which is 